In this video we'll take a look at a note-taking uh, mobile application uh, that you can see running here in the uh, mobile simulator here. So this application is built in the UX, uh, is a UX component uh, built in Alpha Anywhere. And in the video we're going to show how the uh, same application runs on a mobile device and equally well on a uh, full desktop browser. So let's first take a look at the uh, um, at the app running in the mobile simulator. So um, the idea behind the application is that you can have different uh, note boards and then the uh, uh, then you can create uh, notes that belong to different note boards. So here we're looking at all notes and if we um, bring up our menu we can for example switch to notes that are in our work um, uh, notebook. Uh, so here are all of our notes uh, that are in the work um, 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 notebook and then if we go back over here we can switch say to home and there's our notes uh, in the home category here are our notes in the shopping category and um, then we can look at um, for example all notes notes that have a deadline associated with them uh, then we can go and for example look at notes that we've starred etc. So now for any given note you can uh, tap on the note and that brings up a little menu underneath it and then you can for example change the status of that note from starred to not starred uh, etc. You can edit the note or you can put the note uh, in, a, uh, in, a, in a trash can. Uh, then you can also um, reveal the menu either by tapping on that button over there or by doing a swipe gesture um, and uh, swipe gesture will basically um, bring up the menu as well. So if we go back to uh, design mode here we can see that uh, what we have is a standard uh, UX component and uh, the key to the uh, uh, component here is a list control that has uh, the notes in it. Uh, so this is the uh, list control over here that is displaying the notes and then we have another list control over here which is the boards. So if we go over here and we uh, tap on the uh, menu icon over there we can see that this uh, list control over here displays all of the different uh, note boards that we have. So when we go back to look at the notes list we can see that um, uh, this doesn't look like a standard list control. It uh, has been styled um, to look very much sort of like a, uh, a, a physical note board with uh, a cork background etc and when you tap on the note you can see this little animation going on but behind the scenes this is just a standard list control and this uh, uh, appearance of the note and these uh, visual effects here is just done with standard CSS3 um, um, animation and CSS uh, styling. So this is just um, you know a very standard uh, list control. But now when we take this um, this uh, uh, UX component over here and we run it in a desktop browser as you can see over here you can see here is the same application running in a desktop browser but we still have the same um, uh, touch scrolling of the list so I'm simulating a swipe event here with my mouse and uh, because now we're displayed because we're now running in a much bigger browser window the list of uh, boards is uh, permanently shown because there's enough space to show it but if I were to go and resize my browser window you can see now as I make my browser window smaller at some point there's not going to be enough room and that list is going to disappear automatically so you can see now that list disappeared automatically when we got to a certain size and now I can bring it back by tapping on the icon. So now when I make the window bigger, uh, the window now uh, is big enough to permanently display the list over here and uh, we still have our uh, uh, drag scrolling uh, for that list and our drag scrolling for that list. So what we're showing here is that uh, the same application runs on a mobile device and also runs equally well on a uh, desktop browser but uh, on the desktop browser we still continue to support the mobile gestures or the, uh, the touch gestures.